At difficult times, when we're anxious, worried, maybe even a bit fearful, or just have a head full of stuff because there's too much going on, if you're really busy, what happens is we continuously get thoughts arising that pull us away, sweep us away, hijack us really, and take us away from the present moment to somewhere else, usually future, if we're worried or planning, that kind of thing, or the past even, if we are uh, feeling sad about something or uh, regretting something, or just sideways, any which way, just anywhere else but here. And sometimes it can feel like there's so much pinging us away in different directions that we kind of feel like a, a ball in a ping ball machine, just pinged every which way. And we have no control over where we're going. And when that's how things are, it's of course very difficult to settle into meditation or simply to settle into some ease at any time because when those kind of thoughts are popping up all over the place it's very scattering and they don't have to be verbalized thoughts they can just be feelings those feelings of uh, squirling in the belly a tightness in the chest or a uh, heart in the mouth kind of feeling or a clenching all of that is scattering and takes us away from where we want to be, where we would like to be, to give us, to give us ease and help us focus, which is here and now. So this is a way of placing yourself directly in the present moment and in the present place through your senses. I use this quite often to help myself settle at the beginning of a sit if you know, it just feels a bit like that. I can't easily just sit down and focus. So what we do is simply check in with each of the senses in turn and see what our perception of them is and try and focus fully on each sense as we go. Sight, sound, smell, taste, touch. And what the mind takes hold of is all of that. Of course, the mind comes up with its own stuff quite often, but that's not what we're focusing on doing this. We are staying with sight, sound, smell, taste, touch, and how the mind receives and perceives the input from those sense organs. We're simply allowing ourselves to be as fully with each of those senses in turn as we possibly can, giving our attention to them in turn. And we're not trying to do anything with whatever arises, whatever we perceive comes up in our awareness. We're not trying to change anything. We are not trying to judge anything and we're not even trying to name anything. We're simply, you might want to think of it as just being a sense organ for a while. Just noticing, just taking in whatever is there. And in that way, bringing ourselves back to here and now. Before you start 
check your position, make sure that you have the best possible sitting posture that you can, which means the most helpful posture. So broad base for good earth contact, sitting bones planted straight down into whatever you're sitting on so that pelvis is has that tilt that allows the spine to rise up as effortlessly as possible and your hands well supported somewhere around belly button level so that all the weight of your arms is taken and doesn't pull on your shoulders. And just rolling your shoulders up, back and down and holding them there and taking a deep breath in, feel the chest open and then release and relax. Just make sure your head's not tilted back or forward too much. And with your gaze, preferably a little bit down or just straight ahead, starting with sight. And we're trying not to grab at things too definitely with our eyes, so try and keep your gaze a soft gaze. There will be an area in the centre of your gaze which is more in focus, and then there's a whole lot of peripheral vision, all the stuff around that centre which is out of focus, you can't see it very clearly, but it's there, it's there in your awareness. So taking in this whole field, this whole visual field, what colours do you see there? Depending on your surroundings there may be a lot or a few, but just taking in all the different colours that you can see. Don't need to name them, you're just seeing them, noticing. You don't need to move your eyes around, just taking in. And tones, what tones there are. Maybe there's quite a variety of tones, quite a lot of really dark, really light, or maybe it's all a bit middle ground. Doesn't matter, we're just noticing. Depending on your light source, maybe there's a bright, intense light from one direction with some shadows or maybe not. And shapes. You may have a lot of different shapes around, maybe not, but there's probably some straight edges, some straight lines, some curves, some hard shapes, some soft shapes. Simply seeing shape. And then closing the eyes, we have a very different visual field. But it's not nothing. There is something going on there. There is something there for you to see, even with your eyes closed. It isn't black, so just see if you can notice any colour. What colours can you find there? Won't be as obvious. Simply noticing. And what? tones are there. So it won't be completely black, completely dark, depending on your light source and where you are. Maybe it's lighter on one side than the other, or above and below. Is there any difference in the visual field of the tone? And what is the general tone?
how, how far is it towards either bright or dark. And shape. It's not going to be completely flat, completely uniform. There are some kind of shapes in there if you really look. So maybe your visual field is a bit speckledy at the moment. Or maybe you can see some kind of splodginess in there. Maybe even some abstract shapes. Probably isn't going to be anything hard edged in there, very straight, but just see what you can find. And there's probably some movement in there. It won't be completely still. There's a kind of shimmer of movement. A bit of a swirl, maybe, somehow. And then moving on to sound taking your attention to your ears. But when you do that, what is the most obvious sound right now? So depending on where you are, if you're in a very quiet place, there probably won't be much external sound. Just notice what you can hear. If you're in the country side or in a near, you have a garden with an open window, maybe you can hear some nature sounds from outside. If you're in town, maybe you'll hear some traffic noise, people passing by outside. Just opening your ears to whatever is there. If you live with other people or you live in multi-occupancy housing with a lot of flats, you might be able to hear footsteps, some distant kitchen sounds or bathroom sounds, doors. Listening as fully as you can. to the obvious and subtle sounds that are here at the moment. And whatever else is here, there is also the sound of you breathing in and out. That soft, subtle sound of the air coming into your body and leaving it again. Just see if you can hear that fully for a moment. And smell. What does your nose bring to you? What is wafting in through your nose to your consciousness? If you're burning incense, maybe you can smell that. Maybe someone's cooking somewhere, making coffee. Or there's the remains of a food smell or drink smell around. 
Just taking a couple of slow breaths in through the nose and seeing what you can draw in. Maybe there's some flowers around. Or maybe there's just the very subtle smell of you. We all have a certain odour, our own odour, whether or not we wear deodorant. We're so used to it, we don't notice it ourselves, but it's there. So just see if you can have some sense of what your skin smells like, what your clothes smell like. And in the same way, there'll be a characteristic smellscape of wherever you are. Subtle but familiar. So just breathing that in. This mix of scent that make up this moment in this place. And then taste tongue, palate, saliva, the whole mouth, taking our attention there. What do you taste? If you've not long cleaned your teeth, maybe there's just uh, the remains of that mintiness or whatever toothpaste flavour you prefer. or a reminder of a cup of tea or coffee or some food that you ate a while ago And even if there isn't any of those things, there will be something. There's the taste of your own mouth, the taste of your tongue, your teeth. Your saliva. Just a subtle hint of savouriness or sweetness. Or maybe sourness, a bit citrusy, or a little bit bitter, kind of olivey, or none of those things, but there's something, so just savour it. This is the taste of this moment. And touch. There's a lot to notice with the touch sense because it's our kind of main way of interacting with the world in many ways. There's always some sensation of touch, so for all of us, <coughs> there'll be that contact sensation at the base of the body, where the weight of the torso meets whatever you're sitting on through your sitting bones and the flesh of the buttocks around it. Weight meeting firmness. Taking your attention there, just really investigating that sensation, that touch sensation. Depending on how you're sitting, there will be other contact sensations, different parts of your legs and feet. And if you're wearing anything with a waistband, 
you'll be able to feel that quite obvious change in the touch sensation as you breathe in and out, as your body expands and relaxes. Same if you're wearing a bra. Even if you're not wearing either of those things, you can feel the touch of your clothes against your skin as the body's moved by the breath. Where do you feel that most obviously? Can you feel it in your back? Maybe around the shoulders, you can probably feel the shoulders slightly moving up and down and the clothes around that area moving against the skin, maybe against your neck. And then as that whole touch of the body to itself, your bones, your sinews, your flesh moving against each other as you breathe in and out. Which is why we can feel the rise and fall of the belly. Even if you're wearing loose clothes or nothing. And the rib cage opening and expanding at the back, sides and front. With each in breath and settling back down with each out breath. That whole sense of expansion with the in-breath, all the touch sensations that engenders. And the sensations of the out-breath. And the whole of the body just slightly swaying back and forth as we breathe, we can feel through that slight change in sensation at the base of the body, sitting bones and buttocks. Just notice how the touch there changes with the in and out breath. As long as you're allowing the body to move, not holding yourself still, there will be changing sensation there. And then there's that softest touch of all, which is the air touching the body as it comes in through the nose or mouth. And as it leaves the body and comes out into the rest of the air again. Can you feel the air touching you? If there's any slight breeze, you may be able to feel the air on your skin, the skin of your face and hands. As well as coming in through the nose or mouth. So everything that you're seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching with your sense, organ, body, mind right now is of this moment, is of this place. So if this has helped bring you back to the here and now, you might want to go on now to do a different sit of your choice, or you might want to just stop doing this particular little practice and do some just sitting for a few minutes, seeing how you feel after that, or end this experiment and go on to the rest of your day. And remember any time that you feel scattered, pulled away, 
by thoughts or stuff hard to settle you can do a brief version of this during any other meditation or any time any place coming back to your senses back to the here and now so whether this is a beginning or an end for you here's the bell <laughs> 